What's up guys, Dr. Ofo, and today we are going to be looking at an interesting topic, the so-called toilet infection. And um, I've been receiving a lot of mails and concerning toilet infection from my patients and friends. And I'm going to read one of um, such messages from my mail, and it reads, Hi Dr. Ofo. I've been having recurrent toilet infections over the past few months and it's really disturbing. Please, I need help. I need a lasting solution. All right, so, and then I replied, what do you mean by toilet infection? And she didn't reply after that. So I'm guessing she's thinking, you know, how can a medical doctor not know what's toilet infection is. But the thing is, there's no such thing as toilet infection. All right, so most of them give stories of, doctor was fine until I used the public toilet or my friend came around and visited and she used my toilet and after that I started having symptoms, you know, of the so-called toilet infection. All right, so sometimes I usually ask, is it that you guys go to the toilet to swim in the toilet or what or something? I just really want to know. And for these microorganisms that cause the so-called toilet infection, bacteria, fungi, or whatsoever, the ones I know hmm, do not have wings. I've never seen bacteria with wings or fungi with wings. And if there is any such thing as toilet infection, I wasn't taught in school. I wasn't. Maybe medicine has changed or something else. All right. So I'm going to state the symptoms, uh, the so-called toilet infection. I've actually made a little study from my patients over the past few months, and then I came to a conclusion what the so-called toilet infection means. Most of them usually complain of vulva itch and they complain of vagina itch. They also complain of vagina discharge, maybe foul smelling or may not be foul smelling. And most of them complain of pain during urination. Most of them complain of uh, abdominal pain. For the vulva itch, it's called tinea cruris. Just picture it as ringworm in your private area. It's usually caused by fungi. For the vagina discharge, it's usually caused by um, candida ambicans. Your vagina has a lot of microorganisms and they don't cause harm. They are common cells and um, they don't usually cause any problem. Instead, they usually actually render help to you by you know, preventing external microorganisms from coming to invade and cause disease for you. So, but due to some activities such as use of, you know, harsh soaps and chemicals to wash your vagina and maybe due to some hormonal fluctuations, you know, from time to time, you may have overgrowth of um, these fungi, you know, yeah, thereby causing, you know, vagina discharge and then you see it manifesting like that. And then for the painful urination, you can also have that as a result of urinary tract infections. You may also have PID. PID is pelvic inflammatory disease. It's in um, a very simple term, infection from your womb upward. All right, so it can actually occur and mostly it's usually due to ascending infection. And then, um, you know, you can have them from um, sexual intercourse and many other activities that I may not be able, I may not want to, you know, explain here. Okay, so maybe in some other video, we might you know explain further okay and so these are common diseases that people mistake for the so-called toilet infection once you observe or notice something like this it is very expedient and very important for you to visit your doctor he who may likely run some tests for you he may just give prescribe some medications for you or a couple of injections if there's a need for that i hope you've learned one or two things from this video and from today, debunk the so-called toilet infection myth. Thank you so much for watching and anticipate for more interesting videos. And finally, 
please i'm begging we are targeting 1k subscribers before the end of november this year so please subscribe if you've not subscribed and share with friends and family turn on the notification button to receive interesting videos please i'm begging thank you so much for this